Have you ever had that feeling of falling behind in your life? In most cases, for the first 18 years of our lives, the paths are already laid out for us. Going through the same milestones until secondary school, high school or even college. That's when we feel the change happen. Some go different paths than others. Some are ahead, some behind. Let me invite you on a ride through time. My time. This is where I've spent the first years of my life. This is where I went to kindergarten and always broke out to go eat at my best friend's flat. This is where I went to elementary school. Here at this exact same field, I started playing soccer as a child, which back then was the beginning of a 10 year old passion. <laughs> Due to a traumatizing past, I had to move a lot. I don't want to mention every place, but rather tell you about a beautiful village, where I've spent more than 10 years in and which will always be in my heart. Especially the people I grew up with. Memories speak for itself and I am happy for still having contact with a few of them till this very day. I have lost count on how many schools I went to, but this little school in the heart of the village was where I've had the best times. I was about 10 years old, always super active, sometimes annoyingly loud and a total noob in swimming. This is the exact same bench I used to sit on 20 years ago, eating lunch or waiting for the teacher to open the door to the gym. This little street soccer field was where I've once punched a 9th grader in the stomach, who always bullied me. I was so proud back then standing up for myself because I was only in 5th grade. playground we always met up after school and to be completely transparent with you guys i wasn't the most decent boy in my teenage years smoking stealing driving cars with 14 fighting and taking other drugs the list goes on in a time without fancy smartphones this was the place to be sure someone would be at if they're not in the woods getting dirty clothes or ringing on doorbells to annoy people by running straight away there was no need of texting or watching Instagram stories about where your friends might be. It was more adventurous, complicated yet easier and closer to reality if that makes any sense. On this field I've continued playing soccer for the local soccer team as well as after school with friends where we always ran out of water so eventually someone had to ride back home to provide us with more. At a certain age I stopped playing and lost the passion due to a knee injury which lasted a few years later. Eventually I moved back to where I was born, where I feel most at home and where I still live to this day. So why am I showing you all this? You should not compare yourself to others. Life in general doesn't care about your dreams, your accomplishments and wealth, nor the blood, sweat and tears you've once put into building up your future. But don't get me wrong, it is definitely worth all the effort working towards your dreams and goals. You know, all the wealth, happiness, your friends and enemies, your apartment, the food in your fridge, your passions, your desires, everything could be gone in a second. 
So my advice for you is look back, visit the place you grew up in, dream of your future, plan your next day, your wedding or simply plan for the rest of your life. But most importantly, stay in the present. Always be grateful that you've made it this far in life. Be grateful for the people that are still around you. Appreciate all the moments, lessons and heartbreaks. All the pain and love you've felt throughout your life. You may feel left behind, slowly drifting in your own pace and that is totally fine. You are your own book, you're writing your own chapters, your feelings are valid and if you feel left behind in life, trust me, you're not alone. Walk as slow as you want, but don't stop walking. 